Okay, uh, I'm in this video, I'm explaining you an easy way for you to know about solubility rules. Solubility rules always apply to ionic compounds. You know, some ionic compounds soluble, some ionic compounds insoluble. Example, silver nitrate, Ag, and no Soluble. But, silver chloride, insoluble. How do you predict this? I'll tell you an easy way to know the pattern of the solubility rules. In chemistry, there are anions and cations. There are several anions which is soluble. I mean, not always soluble. We all say it's generally soluble. If you know a certain exceptions, you can understand the pattern. So mainly, if you have in your compound nitrate. What is nitrate? In O3 minus. If your compound has nitrate, it can be silver nitrate, it can, it can be potassium nitrate, sodium nitrate. Anytime if your compound has nitrate, 100% the compound is soluble. So if you see, if I ask you a question, okay, calcium nitrate soluble or insoluble? You don't even think, worry about looking at the cation. Okay, this compound has nitrate, it is completely soluble. So any compound has nitrate, it is soluble. And then, so the nitrate always soluble. So nitrate is considered as a soluble anion. And then the other important soluble anion is acetate. It is CH3, COO minus. If your compound has acetate, it's again soluble. And then I'm writing what are these? Fluoride, chloride, iodide. Sorry, bromide. Fluoride, chloride, bromide. These are all in group three, group seven. We call them halides. Halides generally soluble, but there are three exceptions. These three exceptions are Ag silver plus mercury two two plus Pb. Silver mercury lead. Except silver mercury lead, these compounds are soluble. And another one is sulfate. Sulfate also generally soluble salt except um, calcium, uh, barium, strontium, silver mercury lead. That means if you have silver sulfate that is soluble. Mercury sulfate soluble. It's like that. Okay. So these are the basically nitrate acetate, chlor fluoride, chloride, bromide, and sulfate, these are soluble anions, okay? So these are, we call these are usually soluble anions, except those, other than those exceptions. And then, I'll look at the cations. If your cation, if you new compound, if your cation is in group 1, what are the group 1 cations? Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium. If your compound has any of that cation, regardless of the anion, your compound is soluble. Example, it can be sodium nitrate, it can be sodium phosphate, it's okay because you have sodium. It's soluble. So anything with the group 1 cation compound is soluble. There's another important cation, which is only one polyatomic cation that we are learning. What is this? Ammonium. Ammonium is, if your compound has ammonium, regardless of the anion, your compound is soluble. Okay, so if your compound has ammonium, regardless of the anion, your compound is soluble. So now, with keeping that in mind, we we'll look at some insoluble anions. Insoluble anions are carbonate, phosphate, hydroxide, sulfide. Now, what are the exceptions? Carbonate is 
group one right potassium carbonate like exceptions are group one metals and then for the carbonate there is um, group one and ammonium for carbonate and phosphate both group one and ammonium hydroxide group one what are the group one sodium potassium rubidium sorry rubidium cesium right lithium group one and then you have calcium barium strontium sulfide group one group two group one group two means calcium uh, strontium barium and ammonium so these are the solubility rules if you know like like there for sure there are some an anions and cations if your compound has that compound is definitely soluble like um, a nitrate acetate and group one and then uh, if you know the chloride bromide iodide if you have in the compound um, usually it's sol soluble except like silver chloride is insoluble because it's exception right but potassium chloride is soluble zinc chloride soluble like that so if you know that um, that it's easy for you to follow the solubility rules.